Brett Frunder, Christmas at Charlotte Hall Museum, Jenny Peterson. Good to have you with us. Thanks. Thanks How many me. years has Frontier Christmas been going on? Any idea? Well, this is my first year with it, um, but I know it's been definitely a local tradition because I know it's been going on for a few years. So. Well, and, and I have to laugh when I said that because it occurred <laughs> to me immediately that, wait a minute, French or Christmas is about Christmases in like the 1800s, you know, from yeah. the mid-1800s on. So literally it's been going on for 150 years or so, right? Yeah. And if you well, want to go look at it that way. That's true. <laughs> because we're, we're definitely highlighting historic Christmas traditions um, and also historic people, historic Prescott people that were part of those Christmases. So. Oh, which is big. Now, this is yeah. the fun thing about Charlotte Hall Museum. Now, you're just right there by the courthouse mm -hmm. plaza like a block and a half away yep. if you head towards some butte you're gonna find you're gonna run right into it yeah. but yeah you you pretend it's Christmas on the frontier at this time of year yeah. for this particular event yeah so for this for this particular event we normally have living history what we call living history that's throughout the year so costumed interpreters in period um, 1800s late 1800s period garb. Um, but for the Christmas one, we have sort of focus it around the Christmas holiday. So we'll have um, old Christmas stories being told by a historic judge. We'll have Christmas cookies being made in our uh, ranch house by some of our interpreters. So that house is gonna have the smell of cookies Oh emanating throughout the night. So we have Can a lot of Can you buy those cookies, people. you know, and they're frosted and all that, whatever. <laughs> We're definitely going to have Sorry, cookies. I haven't had breakfast. I guess oh, I'm it's gonna okay, jump I on, jump right to the cookies. <laughs> We're definitely going to have cookies available for free for the um, for our visitors. Oh, we also okay. have cider, so we'll have snacks throughout oh, the night for Well, it is so cute cuz I know you have a big Christmas tree now. Mm -hmm. You know, they didn't have electricity, and so, you know, like I don't know, they would decorate with candles and popcorn and cookies and what? You know? Well, a lot of the, we're actually, well, we're doing a, a crafts for kids for this okay. event. Okay. And a lot of our crafts are focused around paper craft um, because they didn't have a lot of the things like plastic or um, if they did have metal, it might have been a little bit rare because metal was expensive. So some of our crafts that we're doing for this event are based around Christmas um, paper. paper. And, well, some of those things that we can put on yeah, the, the tree. Yeah, the little chains, mm -hmm. the red and green construction paper chains. I mean, something. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So. Okay, well, they could cut out little silhouettes. Who knows? We actually are doing silhouettes. <laughs> oh, okay, that was like, zzz, zzz, yeah. it. okay. <laughs> How fabulous. But that was something that they really mm -hmm. concentrated on, and, and you used what they had, which wasn't a lot. You're on the frontier, okay? Yeah. Uh, and but one they of still wore corsets. Um, sorry yes. to say. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> they look gorgeous, but I've, I've worn those. They're not very comfortable. But so when you walk into, you know, is this at the governor's mansion where most of it's happening? Where do people go? It will be throughout the entire campus. Oh, okay. So when, um, when we have visitors come in, families of all ages, hopefully, uh, they'll be welcome to the campus. We're going to have luminarias who, um, gonna, which are, not who, but which are going to be lining all of our paths to some of our buildings. Um, and so then we can't in get those, lost. Yeah, so you can't get lost, <laughs> although we have a fence, so hopefully you're not wandering out. Oh, some random way. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but. Um, and this is a free event. Well, this is, uh, is the the door? members are free and anybody 17 under, and it's a $5 charge at the door. Okay. Um, but in that, we're going to have lots of things. We're going to have the crafts. A lot of our buildings are going to be open, which is where our costume interpreters are going to be. Telling um, the stories. Telling stories and sort of engaging with the visitors and being in that period and of that period. when. And just walking through the, the Fremont House is, is an experience yeah. for the holidays as well. Because, the, you know, you're, especially with the costume people, you're going to feel mm -hmm. like with all this, you step back in time. Mm -hmm. You know, again, 150-ish years ago yeah. to see how life was then. And it wasn't, you know, as primitive or crazy as we might think it is, but nevertheless completely different than the way we live now. Yeah. So it's so fun. And again, those Christmas smells and that, that holiday. I mean, you figure you've got a long winter. Usually it snows <laughs> in Prescott. So back in that day, I think maybe it sm snowed more too. So they really had yeah. the cold and the chill and the lights, the candles and everything would make everything so cozy and wonderful. And sometimes we were just talking about how mm -hmm. modern life can be a little bit hectic. Mm -hmm. So to go back and see how the holidays were, were yeah. celebrated then, what a treat. So this starts at six uh, tomorrow night. Yes, it starts at six. It'll be running until 8.30. Um, and for that, again, it's $5 at the door for adults, and then members and 17 and under are free. 
And in addition to the cookies and the cider and our interpreters, as well as the buildings being open and the children's crafts, we're also going to have some um, choral music performed and a folk group doing some Christmas tunes with fiddle and banjo as well. How so fabulous. we'll have some music too. Yes, because I think they used to go door to door doing carols a lot of times to, yeah. to their neighbors. Now, I've had to do that a few times <laughs> in my life. It's, a, it's actually fun, but it's a little nerve wracking. But, but how wonderful. Yeah. Again, the music, too, because so many of the songs that we love have, have come from those ages so long ago mm -hmm. when um, those are our traditional Christmas yeah. holiday songs coming along. You know, I mean, it's, it, we feel like the generations are so far apart, but my grandmother, for the holidays when it snowed, because she was in a, a North Snow country, would be honest, they would get in the sleigh, okay, with blankets and hot oh, bricks yeah. at their feet, and yep. the horse with jingle bells literally would ride them around. Yeah. So, I mean, I think we sentimentally look back to these these simpler times and, and how different the experiences are for us. So what a treat to be able to go to Frontier Christmas. Now this will be still, even though the Frontier Christmas stories and the mm -hmm. cookies and all that won't be going on all, all season, you will have the, you know, the decorations? And yes, we'll be yes. having them up and around and we have, uh, two, we'll have two Christmas trees up, one in the Governor's Mansion and another one in the Charlotte Hall building, which is another building on our campus. Yes. Um, and so we have some other Christmas decorations and touches up around Go the campus for the whole Go into it and too. see it all and enjoy yeah. it and dress warmer layers as we're talking yeah. about. Who knows how cold layers. it will be. Jenny Peterson, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Frontier Christmas, Charlotte Hall Museum <laughs> coming up tomorrow night starting at 6 on the campus. Don't miss it. It'll be great.